This sweet, sweet, beautiful little video is protected by fair use. It is not for profit. You can share this freely with anyone. It is for the purposes of criticism, commentary, and entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Tommy Truth Dodgers. He's a friend of Orphan Annie, apparently. Anyway, PSYOPs does not have an apostrophe S at the end for a plural. Learn grammar. Learn English. You talk about having so many books. Learn. Learn, Tommy. Learn. Look at, look, look what's in his hand here. Look at this guy. Out on the street. Look at this guy. Does he have some issues? Has he said anything to my face? Was he invited on my show? Oh, here we go. Ha ha, come on my show and talk to me. Tommy boy. No thanks, sick looking fit emojis. Scared, huh? I'm not surprised. You can only talk shit about me over here. You can't handle any pushback. Hashtag coward. He is a coward. He's a coward. He's a pooya. He's a pooya. I've done everything in my day, and uh, when that all kind of went to uh, shit on me, I ended up owing about 180,000 in taxes. That laid that fucking weight on my head hard, and then I ended up relapsing on drugs, and then I ended up in a coma for two months. And then I got to listen to this fucking goddamn vanity latrine fucking weirdo. He fucking jumped on me in the chat just because I made one comment on, uh, uh... And, uh, uh, I figured this guy was a drug addict. You don't gotta listen to me at all. You don't have to come to my channel. You don't have to watch my channel. Just stay away. Hide away here in your little hole, Trom Tommy Truth Dodgers. You can't come on and talk to me directly. You can only make videos about me. You can only talk this way about me, with no pushback. What a coward. What a coward. Everyone, you're looking at a coward on the screen. That's what it is. A drug addict. A coward. In a coma for months. He loves this world. He's attached to this place. Let your soul, uh, her, her video. And this asshole tried to give me a new, new ass. Fuck off. You gotta be kidding me, man. I got fucking more books at home and more shit on this reincarnation soul trap. Fucking yeah, I bet you got some shitty books by Bob Monroe and others. Uh, and that robot, uh, what's his name? Campbell something. You probably have all those shitty fucking propaganda books. Good job. Good for you. Good for you. You read some mainstream publication books that are just going to propagandize you and fuck, fuck with your head and lead you right back in the recycling bin. Good for you. Good for you. You're not smart enough to realize that my channel's different. My channel's not saying the same shit in those books, dummy. You don't have the class of a king because you're a pauper. You're jealous. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting there out on the street talking about me. In Toronto. Toronto. Shit on me. I end up owing about 180000 in taxes. That laid that fucking weight on my head hard, and then I ended up relapsing on drugs, and then I ended up in a coma for two months. And then I got to listen to this fucking goddamn vanity latrine fucking weirdo. He fucking jumped on me in the chat just because I made one comment on, uh, uh, let your soul, uh, her, her video. And this asshole tried to give me a new, new ass. 
fuck off. You gotta be kidding me, man. I got fucking more books at home and more shit on this reincarnation soul trap fucking bullshit than you could ever shake your stick at, you fucking goof. I think you're in a goddamn psycho ward now, walking around fucking thinking you're all that. Anyway, I only wear my sunglasses at night. You know why? Because when you're in the fucking car at night, those goddamn LED fucking goddamn lights program your head. How many times does he swear? Those fucking goddamn LED fucking... La, 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 la. Like, you don't have any class. Because you're a pauper. You're not a king. You're a pauper, Tommy. Tommy Truth Dodgers. Tommy Hill Digger. Tommy, Ho Tommy Truth Dodgers. That's what he is. glasses at night. You know why? Because when you're in the fucking car at night, those goddamn LED fucking goddamn lights program your head. Right? Yeah. So these are LED glasses. I got another pair over here too. You wear these when you're in the car at night. Stop that fucking light from going inside your head because it'll program you and the parasites in your fucking body. Yeah, you look like you're programmed. You look like you're still in a coma. You look like you're still in a fucking coma. <clears throat> I don't think you actually came back from that coma. Once you went into coma, your spirit didn't come back. You're fucked up. You look like a goddamn zombie. You wear these when you're in the car at night. Stop that fucking light from going. Yeah, they're orange. Orange is 33. There you go. You got the Bono sunglasses. You wear these when you're in the car at night. Stop that fucking light from going inside your head because it'll program you and the parasites in your fucking body. Right? And then you wonder why I can't wake nobody up. Well, they're listening to assholes like that fucking retarded uh, vanity latrine and uh, getting all spooked to fucking even make a thought with their own goddamn mind. This guy's a fucking goof. Anyway, I'm going to get going here. It's like the fucking clouds are coming in. They're going to rain on me today from what they're saying. Anyway, don't have no fear in this fucking world, whatever you do. And don't listen to fucking goofs out there trying to say you're no good and this, that, and the other thing. Because you know what? If they're doing that, when I got the finger pointed at you... Finger pointed like a Freemason. Look at them. Just look at them. Look at those dead eyes. Look at those dead eyes. Got rings on his thumbs. What man does this? Pinky finger ring, ring on his thumb. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, you Doctor Who reject? Tommy Truth Dodgers. <clears throat> what the fuck is wrong with you? No fear in this fucking world, whatever you do, and don't listen to fucking goofs out there trying to say you're no good and this, that, and the other thing. Because you know what? If they're doing that, when I got the finger pointed at you, I got fucking three pointing right back in my fucking face. So don't be pointing the fingers at nobody. I know everybody's out there trying to make a buck. I don't dig it when you're sitting on your fucking goddamn YouTube, fucking copying and pasting pictures and like, uh, what's that fucking uh, John Levy and his fucking bullshit? That fucker makes about 40, 50,000 bucks a month on your guys' fucking bullshit. And he makes an 18 to 20 minute video once a week? Are you kidding me? I now he's copying for me. That's the same thing I said. Just plagiarizing. That's all this guy can do. That's all he can do. He's still in a coma. He never woke up. You're still in a coma, Tommy. Uh, 
Tommy Truth Dodgers. I'm not paying for nobody else's way through this shithole, right? I gotta get up and go and bust my fucking balls to fucking do something to make my, my, my quid, right? And sitting around fucking waiting for a YouTube employee check is not my gig. I don't want to work for the enemy. When you're collecting a paycheck from YouTube, you're working for the man, right? And especially when the man is as evil as what it is. This place is a hell realm, okay? You don't own your car. If you owned your car, then they wouldn't be able to fucking take it out of your driveway if they suspected you did anything, right? They just walk up to your car and tow it, right? Oh, well, we'll just deal with whatever the legal aspect of it is later because we own the courts, right? In your homes? You don't own your homes. My older brother's home has been paid for for 35 years. At least 30. Probably 30 and got to be close to 35 now, right? I say to him, why are you still working at 69 years old, bro? He says, dude, I got grandkids, I got kids, I got fucking property taxes to pay. Property taxes to pay on a home that's been paid for for 30 fucking years. But if he moves, if he doesn't pay his property taxes, they'll take it away from him in three days, officially, you know that? It's true. You got 72 hours to, to get your... I've spoken about this, <clears throat> how you don't own your homes, how it's a hell realm, all this kind of stuff. He's been on my channel, he watched my channel for months, he didn't say much. He'd be in the chats, he'd just say hi. But yeah, he was learning a lot from my channel, now he's just using it. That's all they do. They don't come up with any original ideas on their own. They're all in a coma, not just this creature here. Not this Tom, not just this Tommy Truth Dodgers. That's what he is, he's a truth dodger. And he's a copycat. He doesn't have any ideas on his own. Go read some shitty fucking propaganda books. My channel is the real channel, the cream of the crop. You can complain all you want. Nobody watches your shit. Hardly get any views. Hardly anyone's watching your garbage. And it's just low level. You sitting on the street cursing like a loser. shit out of that place and, and they'll, they'll just you may own the house but you don't own the land so we want you to move that right bullshit right goes back to uh, your assisted QVA trust account back from that bullshit from 1666 where they apparently took all our ancestral inheritance and put it in trust for us well every time you collect an unemployment check or a social services check or you got to go into any any expenses that come on to your body and during your lifetime your education the whole thing is all taken out of your trust account and is paid for on these accounts right that's why you got your birth certificate you were born under maritime admiralty law born on a ship called ship citizenship right with your birth certificate with your birth when your mother's waters broke they considered that maritime admiralty law it's a nightmare. Anyway, guys, have no fear. Like I said, most of these idiots I see out in this world today are completely fucking zombies, right? I mean, we are in a... Listen to him speaking. Look at this. Look at him. Just look at him. You want to talk about zombies? There's one on the fucking screen. And as for uh, the maritime law stuff, you got that from Jordan Maxwell. You can You can just tell where this guy got everything from. It's so clear. He's like a tape recorder. He tape records others and just just plays it back. Tommy, Tommy Truth Dodgers. that maritime admiralty law it's a nightmare anyway guys have no fear like i said most of these idiots i see out in this world today are completely fucking zombies right i mean we are in a zombie eclipse um 
lot of nice people around and stuff like that. Sure. Right? Don't get me wrong. A zombie eclipse? No, a zombie apocalypse. I made videos calling it that a long time ago. Again, you're just copying. That's all you could do. Fuck, get your own material. Get some of your own ideas. Get out of that coma. Get out of that fucking coma, zombie. Have no fear. Like I said, most of these idiots I see out in this world today are completely fucking zombies, right? I mean, we are in a zombie eclipse. Um, a lot of nice people around and stuff like that, sure, right? Don't get me wrong, I mean, people are not generally bad at heart, right? But two seconds later, they can snap and change on you like in a second. And that's why you can't really wake anybody up in this world. You're on your own, man. So they call me a cult leader. So they call me a cult leader. This is the cult of humor, truth, beauty, knowledge, wisdom, spirituality. This is a cult for good spirits that know that this is a hell realm and are leaving this place and getting the fuck out of this place. How about that? How about that? Tommy, Tommy Truth Dodgers, Tommy, Tommy Truth Dodgers, he's a Doctor Who reject, he's a street bum, he's a street bum. A lot of nice people around and stuff like that, sure, right? Don't get me wrong, I mean, people are not generally bad at heart, right? But two seconds later, they can snap and change on you like in a second. And that's why you can't really wake anybody up in this world. You're on your own, man. Get right with yourself and find out what you're doing here. I don't do much of that King James Bible bullshit, you know? Really, I know. I'm a Christian at heart, Christian mentality. Oh, he's a Christian at heart, Christian mentality. Look at this. <laughs> Holy shit. He thinks he's going to wake people up and he's a Christian at heart? Are you kidding me? Pray to Jesus to save you. Pray to Jesus. You're on your own, man. Get right with yourself and find out what you're doing here. I don't do much of that King James Bible bullshit, you know? Really, I know. I'm a Christian at heart, Christian mentality. The message that Jesus said was he was not of this world, right? And not to get all messed up on the bullshit down here, man, right? Treat everybody cool, right? Don't be an asshole, right? You know? I mean, and, uh, Stick to your guns, man, and take care of yourself, right? Have no fear. Okay, guys, much love. I'm sure you got a dozen more things I could say, but I don't know. I should probably pack up soon, though. The clouds are looking pretty dark. Okay, guys, I love you. Check it. Check it out. I'll talk to you in a bit, man. Ciao. Go through the comments a bit in case you couldn't see it earlier. This is a comment by me 17 hours ago. Haha, <laughs> come on my show and talk to me, Tommy boy. No thanks, sick faces. Then I tagged him in my response. Scared, huh? I'm not surprised. Yes, I made a typo there. My T key is fucked up. But it should be. I'm not surprised. You can only talk shit about me over here. You can't handle any pushback. Coward. Hashtag coward.
So here's here's some of the dummies that follow this guy. Some of the dummies. Somewhere on my channel months ago, I recognized this one, the Kate here. Celestial Wonders, I recognize. This guy uh, left my channel. He says that he got chased off Buddy's cult channel months ago. LOL, no big loss. This was a dummy, Dragon Sage. He just wanted to tell stories about himself. He didn't want to talk about the topics at all. He was as, uh, he was on as a live guest at least once, shortly. Briefly, as a guest, is what I meant to say. He's not on a long time. I think this is, what's his name? That creature. You know the one. Uh, I can't think of his name at the moment, but uh, his name starts with a V, I think. Anyway, he's a creature. He's a creature. Voy, that's his name, Voy. He's a creep. Two-faced. Jack Streaming's over here. Tommy, heart on fire. Look at this. She says YouTube's a toxic arena right now. Well, you go to the most toxic channels, Jax. Good for you. Your discernment's broken. Good for you. Jax Dreaming was on when the when my channel, the Crimes of Beauty, went down. <clears throat> Doing my best today. I'm struggling today uh, with my voice, which is making it difficult or more difficult to make a video like this. Normally, I just breeze through this, but. Uh, Keep following the Lord. That's all you have to do. Keep keep a Lord and Master. Keep yourself a slave like this guy. That's real wise. Real wise. What spiritual wisdom coming from this guy? Listen to a guy that sounds like he's still in a fucking coma. What a fuck up. And then I gotta deal with these clowns on YouTube. That fucking... Vanity Latrine, King Stephanie, what a fucking retard that cocksucker is. I'll tell you right now, that thing is so high in himself, it's fucking a nightmare. You know, I, I watched him attack Jax, and uh, recently he... Call me King Stephen. Call me King Stephen, you peasant boy. He attacked Jack Streamer for going over to London McLovin channel just to check things out and, and gives her gives her a new asshole in the chat. And I'm thinking, what a fucking goof. And not only that, he fucking jumped on fucking Annie Opie. Annie Opie. Annie or Orphan Annie, right? And uh, um, I, I couldn't believe that either. I've known both of these women for since about 2015, 2016 for sure. And uh, I couldn't believe how this guy thinks he's so king cool and whatever. He's got his little harem. Are you kidding me? I got to have this next wives, man. Are you going to want to have a fucking harem? Fuck that. What a goof. Anyway, I don't want to sit here and complain about everybody else in my life. I'm Keep complaining. You sound envious and bitter. You sound envious and bitter. Live in a hell room, right? Even the cars that are out there nowadays. It's in old school. That's my uh, my ex tan you gave me. This is. You'll say we live in a hell room. I wonder where he got that from. Wonder where he got that from. We live in a hell realm, but he worships God. He is a lord and master. <laughs> what a fool. What a fucking fool. You're going to want to have a 
fucking harem? Fuck that. What a goof. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to sit here and complain about everybody else in my life. I mean, we live in a hell realm, right? Even the cars that are out there nowadays. It's in old school. It's my, uh, my ex Tanya gave me this. It says, Two Daddy Love Tyler. When my son was born, I guess she gave me this later because uh, I do drywall and stuff. And these are the best layers to have and for when it's windy and shit. And a lot of the, I was in Nova Scotia working there for about forever. You know, I ran the Halifax Regional Furniture Banks. So Shout out to my harem. I love my harem. I love my harem. There was a show called Charlie's Angels. I think it might have been in the 70s. Charlie had his angels. I have my harem and I have my ravens and crows. <laughs> and, uh, peeling is what you do to a sheep when you remove its uh, skin, to remove its fur. You're peeling this, the, the thing. And uh, it, I think they take us for our energy because they don't want us for our money because they print the money out of thin air. Have you haven't figured that one out? I have. I talk about that on my channel. Perhaps that's where you got that from. Could be. I said that many times. They don't need your money. I've been saying it all along. I've been saying that for fucking 30 years now. 25 at least. 30 years. And they got all these people in this this world who are completely fucking retarded. Sorry, man. Let me get back a bit. Yeah, man, I smoke. I don't drink. I don't do no fucking drugs. I don't go to no doctors. I don't do no bullshit. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm sick and tired of YouTube and all these fucking grappling grifters and shit like that. When there's a lot more going on. And wait, I got a shitload of. Now he's calling them grifters on YouTube the way that I do, the ones that have their hands out for money. So he bashes me in this video, but he's just taking everything that I say on my channel and putting it into his videos. I guess that's why he was on my channel, to get uh, ideas and words to use. That's what they do. That's what they do. Copycat. Mimic. Copycat. Mimic. Copycat. Steal. Plagiarize. Copycat. books because I'll tell you one thing right now you better have your books you know, if you're into the truth and stuff like that you want to continue spreading truth you better have you know a library behind you because when they take the YouTube away from you you won't be making fuck all guys and you hear what these guys are talking about you loan nothing and be happy you know this is where you <laughs> and these people want you to give them money so you can come on and go on holiday to Bosnia and see some pyramids bullshit are you kidding me Ugh, take a look at these people, man. They're all scumbags. Honest to God. There he goes, just throws the cigarette butt on the ground right after he says they're all scumbags. Throw some trash on the ground, Tommy. Trashy Tommy, truth dodgers. That's what he is. There you go. Look at him. Just look at him. Just look at him. Go read your King James demonology book. How about that? Go read your Freemasonic Bible. Go read your Freemasonic Bible. I just know myself, I'm, I'm a dude, and uh, I don't deal with bullshit very well, and the world I grew up in was half civilized. I mean, I was a little bastard, of course. I was uh, a little bit of a wreck, uh, wreck to my, death, my father's nerves. 
you know, I mean, uh, when my mother died, my father didn't remarry anybody. He remarried the bottle man, and he just pushed his company. He learned well. Anyways, I'm going to end this video right here. This is Tommy Truth Dodgers. He has all the charisma of Orphan Annie. They're about the same. They're very similar, it seems like. Very similar.